Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome to the start of our FIFA 22 My Player Career Mode. Thank you very much for taking time to watch another one of my videos. It's always appreciated. I hope you are doing fantastic. We have a lot to get through today. So much to cover. There's been some big changes, big additions to my player this year, which hopefully is going to make it even more fun to play through. I've written some stuff down that I want to talk about, but there's probably going to be more as well that we will talk about over the course of the next few episodes that I may miss. But to start us off then, the team. We are going to the Netherlands. We are playing for Ajax to start off our journey this year. The reason being, you might remember, I did a save with De Graafschap a couple of seasons ago in a career mode. I really enjoyed my time in the Netherlands. And I wanted to start this year's my player outside of England. So I decided the Netherlands is where I was going. Ajax have had some big names come through their team in recent years. De Ligt and De Jong, just to name a couple of them, who've gone on to big things as well. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided that Ajax would be the best place for me to kind of make a name for myself as well. Now, first thing I need to talk about is this. This is the new way of improving your player this year. It is the skill trees. You gain skill points by uh, leveling up, as you can see in the top right corner. Um, you can see that we are level 1, 3,000 XP away from level 2, I think that said there. And we start with 7 skill points, which for the start here, I'm actually not putting into anything to start things off because I wasn't sure where I wanted to go in terms of which sort of skill tree I wanted to explore first. But this is how you improve your pro. And you might notice as well, there's a couple in there in regards to weak foot. So finally, we will not be stuck on a one-star weak foot because we start with a three-star weak foot this year. So happy days there. Um, but I did not put any skill points into any trees for now. When we left that, we were met by this screen, which is the perk screen. And this is something that I actually didn't know was happening. Um, I actually wasn't sure what this was initially when I looked at it. And as you see, you have the option to actually apply three different perks to your player. And you unlock these, I believe, by leveling up. I'm not sure if there's other ways to unlock them. I only know that when I level up during today's episode, we do unlock a couple of new different perks. The second um, slot to be able to put a perk into is unlocked at level nine, I think. And then the third one unlocks at level 13. So until then, you only actually have one and each perk does different things during the matches. So um, we'll explore those much more in the future once we unlock a few more of them. But for now, I've put on Assist Streak, which I actually end up changing in a moment when we hit level two and unlock the next one. Um, so yeah, there is there is that to come. But also, another thing to tell you about, there's going to be so much to tell you about. Um, this year, apparently, when I went to the profile section, you actually can change your position. So you're not locked in to a single position. So I opted to go for a center forward this year. But it looks like you are able to actually change where you play, which is something really good because you might end up joining a team where they have so many really good strikers and you're fighting for a place, but you don't mind playing out on the left wing, the right wing, maybe even central midfield. Um, and also with the skill tree, once you apply a skill point, I believe you can actually take those skill points back again. So they're not locked in. Like here, I did actually go and start exploring into a couple of these skill trees. And I did test it and it did let me take the skill points back after actually choosing them. So I, I believe you can actually take them back properly all the time and then re-put them into different areas. So for example, if you started as a striker, I'm guessing this is how it works, but don't, you know, quote me on this. I only tried it very briefly. Um, if you wanted to change, I don't know, to like a CDM, for example, or a central midfielder and you wanted to put points into the defending tree, but you didn't have any, you could just take some from one of the other trees and apply them in the defending. Um, again, don't quote me. I only tried it very briefly, but that is how I think it worked. Um, so I guess we'll find out when we play more of this series. But the next thing, and this is why I wrote notes, because I knew that if, um, if I didn't, I would just end up all over the place. It's another reason why you're seeing this as post commentary, because I did not want to ramble for 20 plus minutes about one thing. The manager rating. Here it is. This is the first time you're seeing it. I'm coming off the bench as a substitute 63 minutes into the match. The way it works is these objectives here that you see on the screen right now, if I'm able to complete them, that allows me to gain rating with the manager. The higher it goes, 
the more likely I am to start a match. It will then tell you whether or not you're in the starting 11, you're on the bench, or you're in the reserves and not actually playing. So the better you do in the objectives, the more likely you are to grow your manager rating and then be chosen to start matches in the future. Uh, future sorry. Likewise, um, the worse you do, you lose manager rating, which will then knock you down into the subs and all the way down into the reserves if you end up at that stage. So just keep that in mind. That these objectives, as much as they are like cool to be able to work towards, they are pretty important as well. Um, but I feel like, from what I've seen of the objectives so far, the couple that I've had to do, or the six or so that you're seeing over the course of these next two matches, we do have a live match as well later on for you to let you know. Um, I feel like you'll just get them anyway by actually just playing the game. Um, so yeah, one of them is a match rating. So provided you do well, you're going to get that one. Another one was like score um, or assist. So again, if you're playing well, the likelihood is you'll probably get that one. And another one that I see off the top of my head was three shots on target as a striker. You'd like to think that's probably doable. But from this first match, actually, I only managed to do one of them, which was match rating. I didn't intercept the ball and I didn't score from distance, but we did grow by five manager rating points. So it moves us up a little bit. Um, as you see, we hit level three. We started to unlock some more of the perks, clutch save and last defender. None of them will apply to myself. So I decided to not apply them at all. Just left them there as well. And as I say, you can level up by training and playing matches. You get a base amount of XP based on how you do with the match rating, but you also get more XP from things like passing, shooting, um, tackles as well, I think is in there. So yeah, the, you get very minimal points, but you still do get them. Uh, but match rating is the biggest portion of the XP points you get from a match. So just keep that in mind as well. And to talk about this, our first goal for Ajax. It was a tap in, but I'll take it. Um, some really good movement off the ball, actually, in this friendly here as we took on Napoli. We lost our first friendly 1-0 against Roma. And then this one here you're about to see as well. We draw 1-1 with Napoli. There's a really cool goal coming up, actually, from Politano that you'll see in a few moments' time. Um, but yeah, it was just really nice to kind of score my first goal. I'm still getting used to the gameplay. It's slightly different to last year. And uh, we are going with the ultimate difficulty for now. We'll see how it works. I don't know if I'm going to be changing that or not. But I wanted to stick with it. That's what we had in last year's My Player. So we're going with it again. And we'll see how it plays out for now. I'm not sure there was too much else to tell you. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I say that, I think, a few times today. Um... Archetypes. There is, at the end of the skill trees, something called an archetype. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But what that does is give you a massive boost to attributes, but they cost, like, the most skill points out of any of the skill tree upgrades. So I haven't yet made it to an archetype, but when I do, it's going to be really interesting to see how they affect your player and such. As I say, though, we'll keep on learning. We'll know a lot more about this the more we play it. But it's so cool to see the changes they made this year. It really does feel like you're progressing and it feels really rewarding as well based on how you play in matches. Man of the Match Award here for this one. But now it's time to go to our first live match. I know that we've covered a lot of information so far today and there's probably still going to be a lot that we have to learn once we get going really in this My Player series. But to say the very least, I am excited. And it feels only fair that I should give you at least one live match today. So we are here about to take on America for what could be the last preseason friendly. We featured in the first two. We came on as a sub in the first match against Roma in the 1-0 defeat before scoring our only goal against Napoli in the 1-1 draw. And that means that we sit bottom of the, um, the preseason friendly group. Um, so yeah, we might actually be out at this stage. We do have some skill points still available, but what I'm going to say is if there's anything that you guys want me to prioritize in terms of where we go with the attributes, you know, shooting, pace, passing, dribbling, defending, physicals, then leave me a comment because honestly, I think what I want to try and do is rush to be able to unlock one of the um, archetypes first so I can really see what they do. I mean, I probably mentioned this, but it looks like they give you a massive boost to your um, attributes. So they could be a really good way of getting overalls pretty quickly. Um, but here we go then, the first live match of FIFA 22. We've impressed enough to keep our striking role in the side. And if what I said earlier was correct as well in regards to us being able to change position throughout our career, that could be really fun as well. We started as a center forward, not a striker out and out. 
So he also could drop in to play at Cam every now and again. But yeah, I'm just excited to get going and hopefully you are as well to keep supporting and enjoy this series. I cannot wait to bring it to you. So I forgot to check what my objectives were, but no worries. If you press the menu button, it will take you into this screen here as it would normally and they are on the left hand side. So we need a match rating of at least seven, three shots on target and team possession of at least 55%. That will get us an extra thousand XP as well. So that could be something we work towards. I will say as well that I'm still trying to work out what the best settings are in terms of the audio and such. So apologies if the in-game sound is too loud, but we have seen an opening goal inside seven minutes. Ajax have not touched the ball since kickoff. And well, that's their punishment. What a finish this is, by the way, into the bottom corner from Henry. Um, yeah, some of the like movements as well and the, and the finishing, the Politano goal that you saw earlier really highlighted it for me. The way he wraps his foot around the ball and especially here as well, you can see as that's a great finish into the corner. Wait a minute. Did our goalkeeper get a touch to that? I'm not too sure. Nevertheless, we're 1-0 down and my first touch of this match is to start from kickoff. That's brilliant. Well, I'm not sure we'll be able to do the possession objective because... We're just not on the ball. And we're nearly 2-0 down if it wasn't for Gorta, who's made a good save there. And now they get themselves a corner. Sanchez goes short. Renato gets it back from him. And Sanchez gets the return pass. And eventually we will break away with Klassen. I've made the run. He chooses instead to play it to Gravenberch, which was probably the better idea. And now it's with Berghaus, who plays it through. I mean, you can see I'm not really in a great position to be able to find anything here. And it looks like the chance might have gone. Here is Klassen. Still in the middle with us, Tadic, Klassen again, brilliant ball, I tried to just poke it past the goalkeeper! Ajax won, Americas won! And I said Berghaus last time, um, that's probably not how I say his name. So after doing my research, it turns out I was actually saying Berghaus's name correctly, which is always good to see as we're breaking away down the left-hand side. There's a couple of options in the middle, looking for a cross, there's the delivery, can we reach it? Fuentes away, and it's hooked on by Sanchez up towards Henry, who plays it down the right-hand side for Renato. Now to Martinez, and this is where we have to be careful. I just realised I ran all the way backwards. Renato's in. Big chance! Straight at Gorta, who is more than happy to turn that behind. Here is Renato as Americas come forward looking for what would be the goal to put them back in front here. Tadic with the ball down the line. We've got 25 minutes to play to try and find our way in front. Here is Klassen. Space over on the right-hand side. Instead passes to Tadic, who now will play it to Mohamed Kudus. Lovely ball through to Anthony. Anthony's in behind. Surely save. And a big save at that as well. We follow up with the header, which is over the crossbar. Got to try and keep that down and get it on target. But what a ball through it was from Kudus. Anthony had all the goal to aim at. Saved by the keeper. Still 1-1. Henry finds Martinez. America strike with a minute to play. It's 2-1 and we had to win anyway to have any chance at carrying on in this pre-season tour, which unfortunately looks like it's coming to an end because Martinez has given America the lead. And they actually, I think, are through now. I think they, they carry on in the pre-season tour because this puts them on to six points. And uh, Roma and Napoli are playing against each other. So they both can't pick up three points. So fair enough. And you know what as well? Um, for Gorta, he's had a great game. And then that's the moment that people remember. It wasn't the best save in the world. Let's just say that. But it hasn't been the best performance in the world either. And um, that will be the end of our pre-season tour then. I can only hope. Hang on a second. Oh, well, that just is where it ends then. Um, I can only hope that we've impressed enough to be considered to be kept around here at Ajax for this season. I mean, I'm going to let the boss decide what he wants to do, whether or not we got on loan or not. For now, that's all I can do, and then just keep going and training. Well, that's not gone to plan. We've lost 25 manager rating, which has moved us back into the sub area, so we have to start the next match on the bench. But we did get 833 XP as well. We did not complete any objectives, um, so all of that XP coming from purely our match performance, as you can see. Um, yeah, not ideal, but we'll have to move on and look to try and improve on that next time out. 
For now, though, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be where we end today's episode. A massive thank you for watching. I hope that you're very excited for this series. I certainly am. We are going to learn probably a lot over the next week or so about the new things brought to the game. But hopefully I've explained a fair amount of them. And uh, you are excited as well to get going in your My Player career modes. There has been some big transfers as well around the world. Martinez just joined Liverpool in this, uh, in this game. But for now... The plan is to stay at Ajax, hope to be given chances, hope to make a name for ourselves. And as I said earlier, do tell me what you want me to prioritise in terms of the attributes. Do we go the shooting tree, the dribbling tree, the passing tree? Because I don't really have a style of play that I want to play. One thing for certain though, now that we can actually upgrade our weak foot through this skill tree, you best believe I'm aiming for a five-star weak foot at the end of this series. We had a one-star for like the last four years of my player. We start with a three this year, so we've already got more than I've ever managed before, but we can attempt to get to a five-star weak foot, which if I'm basing this player on my real life, I've definitely not got a five-star weak foot. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but yeah, until next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's aim for 350 likes to guarantee an episode tomorrow for you. I still want to give you an episode, but if you can hit 350 likes, I will guarantee you will have episode two of our My Player series tomorrow. It says that we're 70 overall now, which apparently it's 68 over there. I don't know what's going on. I'll see you all again next time. Adios!